TV. This is Nay reporting from Bonnie, Scotland, the homelands. And up here we have got loads and loads of homegrown talent right on our doorstep. And sometimes it's hard for them to get the break, to make the break down in London because we're up here. We can't afford to move down to London. So with Katie, Re Katie Tunstall's recent success and oh, it's amazing for all, all of the aspiring singers and songwriters up here, isn't it, Emma? Absolutely. Yeah, so today I'm with singer-songwriter Emma B. Or Miss Emma. Alias, what is it? Mama, Mama B. B. Mama B. So there we go. Look out for the album, folks, to have a chat about what it's like to be a singer-songwriter in Bonnie, Scotland. So Emma, tell me, what type of music do you perform? Anything that's got a bit of soul. I do a lot of covers. I like, I like covers of other women's songs. I like to like, you know, do them my own way and soul them up and put a bit of funk to them. And the stuff that I write myself is kind of groovy, inspirational music that you want to put on in the morning and it sets you up for the day. A girly? Yeah, it's girly. But is it pop? It's not girly, no, it's because not, I'm a no, woman now, I'm not a girl anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I can't really like write from a girl's point of view anymore. I've got to kind of, I'm a mother as well, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking at the world from uh, through a mother's eyes. Different perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. So the songs, they are, they are inspirational, but it's, you know, it's taken me a long time to come to a place where I think, you know, I've got what it takes to do what I want to do. Yeah. And I've you know, seen you perform. You have got, this girl has got a lot of energy. When she performs, you know, she's like a mini Robbie Williams, not a mini Robbie Williams, because you'd never want to be someone else, but no, you're a female, she's a all round performer. She's not just a singer. Because you, you, you've got that energy, that buzz, you've got your timbre, you've got all that going on. Yeah, I love to perform, I do, I love to perform. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, that it's got to have an energy to, to it, you know, because, yeah. you, you know, yourself, if you're feeling a bit down in the morning, you've had a bad day, you've got your period, something like that's happened, you feel like, you know, yeah, something like that, yeah. a girl thing, you put on a CD and you think, ah, that, I feel better now. Yeah. And you go out and you do your thing that day and you do it to the best that you can. All right, that, that bit about... That female bit, maybe a bit too much information for the viewers over there. But but we're not like sorry, to talk about she didn't you. say that. But anyway, what do you feel? Apart from that, what do you feel about local girl? Well done, Katie. Katie Tunstall, I Sunrise to Success. I have her album. I think it's great. Oh, do you have it? Yeah, and I do. I, I do listen too. to it. I listen to it a lot. And you know, I, I've seen her perform. I've only ever seen her perform. I haven't seen her live, but I've seen her on TV once performing. And I was, it's, it's just awesome. Oh, have you she, seen it's her awesome to watch, yeah. I've not seen her perform yet. And she's got this machine that she records the beats with her. She's her on her own. Wow. And she goes, woo hoo, and it plays throughout the whole song. And wow. it does a lot of backing vocals live oh on stage God. and everything. It's ace. See, that is incredible. It is. It's totally and the fact different. that she's, there's so many aspiring singers and songwriters out there, mm -hmm. and she's managed to break into she get a record deal. She is a little deal. bit different, though, because yeah. she's not. She's not standing there in a pair of high heels singing. No, but there's a no, lot. Of, I don't know. I've seen a lot that. of uh, you know artists like that down in Manchester and Liverpool and stuff, and they're all a bit different with their own substance and personality. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, so it is. It is really a gold achievement for, in a sense, for Scott, because it makes them believe that they do have a chance down in yeah, London as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. You know, and, and a lot of Scots want to stay <coughs> in their hometown. Yeah, they do. They don't want to have to go down there. You know, yeah, know. this is where your heart is, yeah. and you want to stay here. So the fact that she is Scottish and she's down there, but she's here, and you know, and maybe America will be the next place for her. Oh well, let's hope. I know, it's let's fabulous. Hope. Good luck, Katie. Katie. <laughs> so tell me, have you got any favourite tracks of this week? Every favourite tracks of this week. But, yeah, you know, I just I just recently got cable installed in my house. Oh, so what, now I've I got have, three of you. Now I have, but, but I'm able to watch TV <laughs> with the. Old, MTV and I can see what's yes, popping up. Yes, MTV. And I do like Mariah Carey's new track. I can't see that there's many other ones at the moment that are really hitting home. I do like Mariah Carey's new track. In fact, I'd like to hear her new album. I bet it's great. Oh, the album's amazing. I've well, got it in my car. Oh, do you want to go and have a listen? Yeah. Oh, right, sorry. Interview's over. We're, we're going, going to listen to Mariah's album. Yeah, we're going to go cruising in the Zim Zimmer.